First off, thank you very much for completing my cute survey. I really wasn't expecting so much participation, and I will upload a video later with stupid commentary on the results. Now, I see there isn't much fedora around, so this video isn't exactly the most exciting video for you. The good news is that all Ubuntu and their spins combined, are less than the Arch Linux. <laughs> However, Fedora has some potential for the future, and I want to share a quick tip I just discovered. I'm using Fedora Rawhide, and I totally love this system, because it is rolling release, plus I get all GNOME development editions, that are pretty stable really. Speaking of rolling releases and if you don't know already, there is now CentOS Stream, that is a CentOS rolling release. And anyway, I hope Fedora will do that too. A rolling release silver blue? Just imagine that! So, here I have a Fedora Rawhide that is branched out to Fedora 32, with Fedora 31 currently being on beta release, and I'm going to run an update from Terminal. Now, DNF will give me development kernels from Rawhide repository, that for a couple of reasons we don't want to. First, they are built with debug flags enabled, so they are slow, and second they don't work with NVIDIA drivers. There is a Rawhide repository that uses no debug kernels, but it is problematic too. What we really want is to use kernels from stable Fedora releases. To work around that issue, I added an additional repository that looks on Fedora 31 packages, and it is overridden from Rawhide obviously. Fortunately, with DNF we can explicitly set a specific repository to upgrade from. So, sudo DNF, and then repository packages, followed by the name of the repository, in this case, Fedora-31, and upgrade. And that was pretty much all. We now get stable kernels on Rawhide from Fedora-31, according to our original plan. 